Imagine a towering titan of a building, soaring to heights unimaginable, with floor after floor reaching for the heavens. It's a skyscraper extravaganza, and there's no one-size-fits-all rule to define them. And the skies of 2023 are witnessing the most captivating new skyscrapers under construction. And we are here to bring them all to you. So let's get started. Let's kick things off with a grand entry at number 10. The Central Bank of the Republic of Turkey is set to redefine the Istanbul skyline with a staggering height of 352 meters. This monumental tower, marking the bank's relocation from Ankara, is poised to become Europe's fourth tallest, excluding Russia. And here's a little tidbit. The old central bank head office graced Turkish banknotes through the decades. Stepping into the limelight at number nine is the CL Tower, a true Dubai gem standing tall at 365 meters. Named after the French word for sky, the CL Tower is unlike any other. Why, you ask? It's an entire hotel, the world's tallest hotel only skyscraper to be exact. In a city renowned for its towering marvels, this one takes the crown. With over 50 floors already in place out of 82, it's racing toward the clouds. Designed with finesse by architect Yahya Jan, the Chiel Tower features curved glass and metal, intended to gently reflect the setting sun. Number 8 on our list is the Naga 3 Tower A in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, a colossal $3.5 billion project that's more than just a skyscraper. Its three interconnected towers are destined to become luxurious hotels and dazzling casinos. The overseeing mastermind behind this grandeur is Naga Corp Limited, a hotel, gaming and leisure company based in the bustling city of Hong Kong. But what sets this marvel apart is its name, Naga, inspired by a mythical seven-headed dragon symbolizing gold and good fortune. Moving on to number seven, we're headed to the Ivory Coast, where the Tour F is rising to the sky. This remarkable structure, designed to resemble a traditional African mask, will primarily serve as office space. The Tour F story is a tale of revival, as it was originally planned in 1970 as part of a massive urbanization project in Abidjan. However, due to economic setbacks in the 80s, the project was put on hold. Fast forward to 2021, and construction is officially underway. When completed in 2024, it will proudly claim the title of the tallest building in West Africa. And now, the iconic tower in Egypt takes center stage at number six, reaching a stunning height of 394 meters. If the Tour F had been constructed a few years earlier, it would have been the tallest building in all of Africa. But Egypt's iconic tower is set to outshine it by nine meters. This extraordinary edifice is rising in Egypt's new administrative capital, a city projected to be the country's new capital when it's finalized in 2030. The entire venture carries a jaw-dropping price tag of over $50 billion. Aiming to relieve the congestion in Cairo, one of the world's most densely populated cities. Some have labeled it a project for the country's wealthy elite, but its impact on the skyline is undeniable. Drawing inspiration from ancient Egyptian obelisks, this tower is nearing completion and could be ready in just a couple of months. At number five is the JP Morgan Chase Building. Standing proudly at 423 meters in the heart of New York City, JP Morgan Chase, a financial services giant, made a groundbreaking decision in 2021 to demolish their existing headquarters, the Union Carbide Building, and embark on a quest for a modern replacement. The Union Carbide Building holds a special place in architectural history. Designed in the 1960s by Natalie de Blois, it was a milestone as one of the tallest buildings ever designed by a woman and held that title for half a century. In 2009, it was dethroned by the Aqua Tower, designed by Jana Gang. The new Jip Morgan Chase headquarters is set to be a technological masterpiece, with artificial intelligence managing energy efficiency automatic solar shades on the windows, and powered by renewable energy from a nearby hydroelectric plant. While it won't be the tallest building in the Big Apple, it will certainly stand out as one of the most advanced. As the project nears completion, 
JP Morgan Chase is temporarily using 383 Madison Avenue as its office space. Moving on to number four, we have the Signature Tower, reaching a towering height of 436 meters. This skyscraper is part of the Grand One Bangkok project, an urban complex boasting five office towers, three luxurious hotels, and a plethora of shops and venues. One Bangkok is destined to host a working population of $60,000 and accommodate up to 200,000 visitors daily. The Signature Tower will proudly reign as the tallest building in Thailand, a symbol of modernity and progress. At number three, we have China's ongoing skyscraper boom, where you'll find not one, not two, but a whopping 10 to 20 massive skyscrapers under construction. These urban behemoths are set to redefine China's skyline, and we're here to give you a glimpse of the most remarkable ones. First up, we've got Tower C in Shenzhen, reaching an impressive height of 394 meters. Designed by the legendary Zaha Hadid, this architectural marvel is a true work of art. Officially under construction since 2020, it's slated to be completed in just seven years, but that's just the beginning. The Hexi Yuzui Tower is next in line, soaring to a staggering height of 498 meters, Situated in a new waterfront business district, this tower's exterior design is inspired by the patterns of the nearby Yangtze River, making it a true masterpiece. China's current building limit for skyscrapers stands at 500 meters, and architects are pushing the boundaries. In Zhongshan, the Fuyuan Zhongshan 108 IFC is set to top out at 498 meters, coming incredibly close to the limit. Meanwhile, in Zhongnan, they're aiming for a height of 499 meters, nearly touching the sky. The Suzhou Zhongnan Center, originally planned to reach an astonishing 729 meters, had to adjust its plans due to the Chinese government's height restrictions. Now, it's on track to stand at 499 meters, still a breathtaking achievement. And if that wasn't enough, another 499 meter tower is rising in Nanjing. The Greenland Jinmao International Financial Center is set to become the tallest building in the city, edging out the Hechi Yuzui Tower by just a single meter. At number two, we've got The Line, an astonishing project that's unlike anything you've ever seen. This Saudi Arabian marvel is set to soar to an impressive 500 meters in height. But here's the kicker. It's not your typical tall and slender skyscraper, no. The line will sprawl across a whopping 170 kilometers of desert. Imagine several thousand skyscrapers standing side by side, and you begin to grasp the sheer magnitude of this colossal endeavor. It makes all other projects on our list look like mere needles in comparison. Our number one is the Merdeka 118 in Kuala Lumpur, reaching an astounding height of 679 meters. It's the second tallest building on Earth, and it's set to open its doors very soon. But here's the twist. Some folks couldn't wait and broke into the tower a few weeks ago, climbing all the way to the top. Their daring escapade captured breathtaking city views, but they now find themselves under investigation for trespassing. Merdeka means independence, and the tower is designed to resemble the iconic pose of Tunku Abdul Rahman, the statesman who declared Malaysian independence in 1957. It's a true masterpiece of architecture. These skyscrapers are more than just structures. They're a testament to human ingenuity and ambition, shaping our world's skylines and offering unforgettable experiences. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates on the ever-evolving world of architecture and engineering right here.